if you wait until the manifestation or even until the emotion, mm -hmm. now you're not out ahead of it. Now you're having the knee jerk response. And that's what we meant when we were talking oh. about momentum earlier. If you start in a neutral place, you could either promote the momentum that you want or not be a catalyst to the momentum that you don't want. In other words, you could stand in front of the car that's getting ready to roll off into the ocean and you could hold it where you want it to be or if you wanted it to move off into the ocean you could give it a nudge and off it would go you want to get out ahead of it you see and so what most people do they wait until the momentum is already underway and then they say now what do I do and we say well all you can do is action and it's not ever enough and so then it's like the analogy that we've offered for so many years you've jumped out of an airplane you're at 30,000 feet you have no parachute and you say what do I do and we say hang on it'll be over in a little bit <laughs> because the momentum is such there's not a lot for you to do but if you get out ahead of it if you get out ahead of it if you envision things the way you want them to be if you care about how you feel it's so simplistic that a lot of people can't even hear it there's just not enough angst or struggle or trauma or drama in it for most people when we say how you feel is everything and you have control of how you feel and most everybody to some extent will argue for their limitations yeah but this made me feel this way and this made me feel this way and this made me feel this way and we want to say to you it doesn't matter what happened or how you feel about it you have the option of choosing a better option of how you feel about it what are the troublesome thoughts that you're bumping up against bumping up against it's a good way to say it because it's active in your vibration so you're bumping up against it what are some of those early morning bumping up against unpleasant thoughts that you're finding take it easy there just a little bit so, so I feel physically uncomfortable what else I don't want to go to work I didn't get enough sleep what else I have too much to do so now let's just take those I have too much to do when you say that that just keeps that momentum going so what if when you go to bed you will suggest to yourself that eventually I'm going to come into alignment with what I have to do just that soft suggestion eventually I'm going to come into alignment with what I have to do eventually I'm going to access the leverage of the energy that creates worlds and I'm going to get that energy helping me out on some of this now you've already just with that statement the night before you made that statement when you wake up in the morning if that previous thought had any momentum it won't be as much momentum as it had before you made that statement so now you awaken and you might even notice that for the first time in a long time you are feeling a little bit of ease and then you want to stop and say to yourself out loud if you want to but at least acknowledge that it happened I am having a realization of some ease that realization of that ease is a momentum that is different from what I've had before you see what we're getting at so that you start noticing that the things that you're saying and that the things you're focused upon in an attitude of more comfort so let's say you wake up in the morning and your body hurts when you put yourself in your bed at night lie there for a little bit and try to find something that makes you feel comfort in your body appreciate the softness of the bed or appreciate the comfort of the pill focus upon something that feels good try to put yourself in a comfortable position where you are acknowledging this feels good this feels good we really really want you to hear us when we say don't try to stop momentum that's what makes you think you can't do it that's what makes you think you're doing it wrong that's what makes you think it's too hard you're trying to stop momentum that is already in motion don't worry about stopping it let it play out it's not going to be that bad let it play out let the momentum play out and put your energy your mindset your determination toward getting new energy started so instead of saying I'm gonna to try to get my body to stop hurting start saying oh this feels good oh that tastes good oh this is relaxing oh this is a good thing get that momentum going and it is our promise to you with far less attention than you have put into almost anything else that you are doing you will begin to dovetail with this energy that creates worlds and you'll begin to feel momentum and it won't take long before you'll begin to feel a sort of invincibility.
You'll feel so invincible that you'll be watching something on television that's not going your way and you'll say, I want. And when it happens, you'll say, thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much for recognizing me. Thank you very much for hearing me. Thank you very much for flowing energy towards something that I have chosen as my object of attention. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for recognizing my power. Thank you very much for recognizing my clarity. But you got to put yourself in that place where you've practiced it enough that you're starting to expect it. And see it. When you decide that you're going to go someplace... And you know where you're going, envision yourself there. How often do you return to a restaurant that you've been at before and they seat you at the same table that you've been before? Has that ever happened to you? And you say, this must be our table, even though it's not the same person that's seating you. Well, why is that? It's because that's the impression that you have offered to the universe about being in that space. It is your table. That's where the momentum is. That's the momentum. So you arrive at the timing of that table to seat you. You arrive with the impulse of that person. In other words, nothing happens randomly. Everything is following this vibrational momentum that you've got going, you see. And we're here to remind you of this huge momentum that you got going before you even came into these physical bodies. This momentum of well-being, this momentum of creativity, this momentum of right place, right time, this momentum of life being good for you, this momentum of things working out for you, this momentum of being here to relish this delicious experience that you're co-creating in. There's huge momentum. And you had to pick up a lot of things along your physical trail and start getting some other momentums going on that were resistant in nature that you're stumbling over, that you're tripping over, that you're bumping into, you see. But just get yourself in that neutral zone and think about momentum and think about law of attraction and then do something to promote a feeling of something that feels comfortable to you. And then don't stand there and take score immediately. Oh, I thought this good thought, nothing good came to me right now. Just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. Before you know it, you'll have a realization. Oh, this is related to that. Oh, this is related to that. Oh, this is related to that. Until you reach the place that Esther has been for a long time, where when something wanted happens, she says, oh, I did that. And when something unwanted happens, she understands her part in that too. You see, everything is about the momentum that you set into motion. Do you feel that you have the power to think a thought? Or are you responding only? Can you think a thought from a neutral place? Can you? Can you think a thought from a neutral place? So if you're reveling in something if you're appreciating something and the thought comes is it a thought that came from a neutral place no it isn't it's a thought that came from momentum that you had going and often it's a thought that's inspired from non-physical in other words you get your vibration high enough where you're hearing what we're saying and we're flowing all kinds of ideas to you that you're picking up on you see that's momentum that's that leverage that we're talking about what about if you've got something negative going on that you've been thinking about and then a yet another negative thought and yet another negative thought comes did that start out of nowhere or was there momentum going there was momentum. so can you start a thought in the direction of what you want from a neutral place do you believe it's possible yes. and what would be the conditions of that neutral place what kinds of things might you do catch yourself early when you wake up and what else meditation the quieting of the mind, the quieting of your mind. So what's the magic of meditation? So there's momentum going already, but you suggested to yourself that tomorrow, that early in your day, that you're going to find some place to bask, that you're going to find some place. So you've already started that momentum. So now it's easier than it's been before because you've already thought about what you're going to do. You've already decided where you're going to go. You might even have cleared the space. You might have even cleared the clutter. You might have even taken the stuff out of the chair. You might even have got it ready. You might even have put something there. In other words, you made some preparation, some mental preparation. So now... You sit, the magic meditation goes like this. You find a thought that is already neutral, that you do not have a negative opinion about, and you focus upon it. You could listen for a sound. Can you hear a sound in this room when we are not making one? A sort of 
ever present sound of the air flowing in can you hear it mm -hmm. that'd be a good thing to focus upon because it's not abusing your ears you have to focus to hear it it's meaningless you didn't divorce it <laughs> It didn't snatch your business out from under you. It didn't die unnecessarily. In other words, it's neutral. It's neutral and you have the power to focus on it. And when you do, you reach a neutral place where momentum that you already have established will then flow. Some people say when they sit to meditate, their mind gets chatty, even more chatty than usual. That's because you've already got some stuff activated. So what else could you do? You could focus on your breathing. You could deliberately breathe in long, long, long in, 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 just filling your lungs. And then you could let it slowly out and you could breathe in a rhythm that is not normal. We would encourage the guided meditation that uh, has been presented with music that will actually guide you with your breath in and guide you with your breath out it will hold you in a neutral place because if you have the ability to find a neutral place then you have the ability to set something else in motion but friends the majority of you and the majority of people that you know are waiting until the momentum is working against you and then you're trying to do that and then you're saying it's too hard and then you let that momentum carry you and then you practice a vibration that doesn't serve you and then you don't feel powerful when you are if we were standing in your physical shoes we would discover the power of the neutral zone we would conjure it deliberately we would discover the power of meditation which is just quiet in your mind and then we would begin watching for the momentum that ensues and when you realize and you will things are shifting for you when you realize that this thought came and that's a new thought for you and this thought came and that's a new thought for you then we would turn our undivided attention to that momentum and we would push it in the direction that it is already going and that's when it really begins to get fun in other words that's when you start making lists of positive aspects or that's when you begin doing rampages of appreciation you watch us as we are interacting with people and you hear sometimes someone will start out with something that they're bumping up against and at first we don't jump right in the middle of it because all it does is make them feel more resistant maybe even making them feel challenged it sometimes even makes them argue for their limitations mm -hmm. So we start out slow until we find some place where we can fit in, where we can feel that they're fitting in. And then it doesn't take long before we're romping all over the place, before we're rampaging in our awareness. You saw it with our friend and her business. At first it was sort of slow going because her momentum was all about what she did not want. And any conversation that we engaged in with her was only going to perpetuate the momentum in the direction of what she did not want. So we just kept playing with it until we found some neutral ground. Did you witness that? Did you see how that happened? Did you see the point when she finally sort of settled down? Did you see a point where she sort of just was resigned? There was a reg resignation. If you were paying attention, you saw when that happened. She sort of gave up. She sort of gave up arguing for her limitations. And at that moment that she gave up arguing for her limitations, the momentum of all things that are already in her vortex just began lighting up. And then we could not stop talking. We could not stop expressing what we were feeling. In other words, we had to follow the momentum of all of that and didn't make you just want to follow her around and see what's going to happen could you feel the power of all of that going on you see it's the same thing over and over and over there's no magical formula but there is a formula and the formula goes like this you are offering a vibration and law of attraction is matching it and there is a momentum in that and if you like it keep doing what you're doing if you don't then do something different profound isn't it